सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव हियर वी हैव एफ एक्स इक्वल टू मोड ऑफ कॉस एक्स प्लस मोड ऑफ साइन टू माइनस एक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द पॉइंट वेर एफ इज नॉट डिफ्रेंशियबल सो टू फाइंड सच पॉइंट्स वी कैन यूज एलजेब्रा ऑफ डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ फंक्शन वी नो इफ एफ एंड जी आर डिफ्रेंशियबल एट सम पॉइंट्स दैन एफ प्लस जी ऑल्सो भी डिफ्रेंशियबल एट एट दैट पॉइंट्स and if f is not differentiable at some point but g is differentiable at that point then f plus g not differentiable at that point so we can use this concept here now mode of cos x will not differentiable where cos x going to be zero that is x equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 at this point my function mode of cos x will not differentiable But sine of mode of sine x minus two going to be differentiable. So the thing is, at these points, my function f not going to be differentiable. That's why our option A is correct. Now, mode of sine two minus x will not differentiable where sine two minus x going to be zero, and sine two minus x will be zero when two minus x equal to n by n can be any integer. That is x equal to n pi plus two, and at these point my function mode of cos x will be differentiable. So similar as the algebras, my function f will not differentiable at these points. So our so option C is also true. Uh, so here we have A and C are the correct solution of question number forty-five. Here we have S be the surface. Bounding the region x square plus y square less than equal to one, x is greater than n equal to zero, y is greater than n equal to zero, and mod z is less than equal to one. So when we observe this closed surface, then we have it's a one fourth part of the cylinder x square plus y square equal to one, with x and y are positive and z lies between minus one to plus one. okay and and give with the outward outward normal to this surface and we have to evaluate the given surface integral since here s be a closed surface so we can apply gauss divergence theorem here so by the gauss divergence theorem we have surface integral f dot n k ds is equal to volume integral of divergence of f dv now here f dot uh, when we Uh, observe the given integral surface integral. Then we notice that f equal to sine square x i plus two y j minus z times one plus sine two x k. So when we compute the divergence of this vector point function, then we have the value of divergence is one. So by that Gauss divergence theorem, the surface integral f dot n k d s is equal to volume integral. One dv. Okay. Now we have to find the limits of this uh, limits uh, for this triple integral. So as we uh, so that over uh, as we a closed surface of the cylinder. Uh, in fact, one fourth part of the cylinder where x and y both are positive and z lies between minus one and one. So our limit for z will be minus one to one, and the limit for Uh, y will be zero to square root of one minus x square, and then x will varying from zero to one. So when we solve this, then we have value of triple integral is pi by two. So in degree, this value is ninety. So here ninety is our answer. Solution of question number forty-eight. In this question, we have to find the value of n for which. The substitution y equal to u raised to n will transform the given differential equation into a homogeneous differential equation. Okay, so firstly we'll compute uh, dy by dx by using this uh, substitution that is y equal to u raised to n since y is depending on x. So here u is also depending on x. So dy by dx will be n u to the power n minus one du by dx. Now put the value of y and dy by dx in the given differential equation. Then we have two x raised to four u to the power n times n u to the power n minus one du by dx plus u raised to four n equal to four times 
सिक्स रेज टू एक्स सॉरी फोर टाइम एक्स रेज टू सिक्स सो हियर वी कैन कंप्यूट डी यू बाई डी एक्स एज डी यू बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू फोर एक्स रेज टू सिक्स माइनस यू रेज टू फोर एन डिवाइडेड बाई टू एन एक्स रेज टू फोर टाइम यू रेज टू टू एन माइनस वन नाउ वी वॉन्ट दिस इक्वेशन गोइंग टू बी अ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन so it will be homogeneous if denominator and numerator function both has same degree that is same power now here we have x raised to 6 so it going to be homogeneous uh, differential equation of degree 6 that is numerator and denominator function should has degree 6 so when we observe then we have 4n going to be 6 And two n minus one plus four is equal to six. So when we solve this, then we have n equal to three by two. That is n equal to one point five. So here one point five is our answer.